and it's the Cavaliers to start out. Here are the starters for Utah. We've got Mike Conley, Boyan Bogdanovich out there with Jared Vanderbilt. Then there's Colin Sexton. And he probably thought he was going to bury that one. Well, despite all he's accomplished, Donovan Mitchell hasn't escaped criticism. Those saying he doesn't have what it takes to get to the next level. <laughs> I'll tell you what, he's not letting it phase him, though. And he gets it to go. What about the handles of Mike Conley just straight up toying with the D? And here's Mitchell. Pass to Akuro. Now here's Allen. Here's Mobley. Shot from the wing. And that one comes up a bit short. And Grant, you talk about that criticism. Mitchell says he's fueled by it. But you know, it's not all hate. There's a lot of people saying Mitchell is Dwayne Wade 2.0. Yeah, I mean, both super athletic combo guards. Mitchell at this point is a better outside shooter. Wade a better passer and defender. Look, I'm still taking Wade. But Mitchell is every bit of a star player in this league. And it's the Cavaliers with the ball. The Jazz making their last shot. Mobley, no good. No one on him. He committed to fading away. Probably could have taken more time with that shot. Pass to Vanderbilt. On the wing, Sexton. Shot clock at six. On the wing, Sexton. Second shot opportunity. Can't hit that one. And Cleveland the other way now. They need something good to happen here. Yeah, they've gone way too long without a score. Mobley, no good. The Jazz have gone two of four so far. Now here's Bogdanovich. He's guarded closely. Outside Sexton. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. And his teammates appreciate the unselfishness. Bondanovich willing to get it to his open guys. Now a timeout called by Cleveland. Yeah, hoping to tap into something that'll get them clicking. Yeah, these guys need to work together as a team, as a unit. Try and carve out some easy buckets. Here's Allen. Down low. Tries to snap the cold streak. Count that one. Already with a bullseye on his back, Donovan Mitchell reacts to the defense, and he scores. Spins. Conley passes to Bogdanovich. To the inside. And he takes the feed in stride and slams it home. Oh, not the defensive effort they need to cut into the lead. Boy, good call. You have to at least try to protect the rim. Also, if you can't get stops at this point, it really doesn't matter what you do at the offensive end. And there's the screen. To the left wing. Six on the shot clock. Here's the Kuro. Rebound, Utah. Vanderbilt's got four rebounds now. Outside Sexton. Into the lane. Blocked! Garland against Conley. Pass to Mobley. And here's Mitchell. Garland for three. That one falls. Nice set up by Mitchell. And we think of Donovan primarily as a scorer first. But there, fantastic pass. Rubio with a drive. And Conley grabs the miss. For Utah, they've gone four of eight and looking in control. 
Clarkson passes to Conley. Here's Markkinen. It's rebounded by Cleveland. And there's 138 left now in the first quarter. Rubio passes to Levert. Takes one from 10 feet, and it's in there. I think this is Rubio's greatest trait. I love to watch him move the basketball, and so does his coaching staff. Now here's Clarkson. Pass to Conley. Levert with a rebound. So far, rebounding has been a focal point for them. Rubio against Conley. Love a screen on Conley. Rubio drives in. Chance there to take the lead, but a miss. Utah leading. Clarkson with the ball. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. Gay, the pass to Markkinen. Five to shoot. The Jazz need to get one up in a hurry. And Gay, the bucket, yeah. on the assist by Conley. This is the confidence Rudy has in himself, looking to score as soon as he gets the rock. Rubio passes to Levert. It's wide right, hits off the rim. For Utah, they've gotten 5 of 11 shots to go. Here's Horton Tucker. Neto grabs the miss. Pass to Osman. The teardrop. And no good. And that concludes the first quarter of play. Jazz out in front. They lead by four. And we'll bring you the start of quarter number two when we return. this team's growth mentality. We want more. We don't accept good, we want great or greatest. We're just trying to be better every day. It's never too high, never too low, but we know what we can be and we want to get better. Well, Grant, it's great to have veteran leaders like Rubio. It really is. And continuing to search for that next level as a team, that growth mind state can only help. If you're just joining us, we played through one quarter in this one. And a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for the Jazz. They've gotten a lot of high-quality shots in the paint early on. That was clearly part of their game plan coming in. One other thing we've seen them execute to this point is good ball movement to set up those easy scoring chances. We've got Jared Allen. Darius Garland is out there with Donovan Mitchell. And there's Kevin Love. And it's Okoro in at the three. So that's who's on the floor for the Cavs. A moment to hear from Allie LaForce. Hey, Brian. Colin Sexton's nickname at Alabama was the Young Bull. He said, quote, I just play with a lot of passion through adversity. No matter what the score is, I play a complete game. Every time I step on the court, I have to show the world what I can do. Oh, tremendous energy, Allie, right? Thanks for that. Mobley, he's checked in for the Cavaliers. At the wing position, Grant, you were one of the league's best passers. Which wing players stand out to you in that category now? You know, I, I mean, it may sound arrogant of me to say this, but LeBron, Luka Doncic, guys like that who really read the floor, they understand and can pick apart defenses at any position, those two are ones that stick out the most. Garland, no good. They really have a commanding lead, not just in points, but in rebounds as well. Outside Sexton. Shoots over Allen. And another miss by Utah. Decent look for mid-range, but there may have been a better option for them in that set. And here in the second with about a minute and a half gone by. That one goes in. Beautiful call that time up the floor. The hard screen frees him up for the bunny. 
Sexton against Garland. Vanderbilt inside. Outside for Sexton. And counted from 19 feet away. Sexton's gotten his second bucket of the game. And I love how they're working much harder on the glass this quarter and drumming up more second chance opportunities. Here's a Kuro. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. At the line for Cleveland. Isaac Okoro. Two shots. First one falls for him. And so he makes both from the line. Utah has gone one of two from downtown here in the second. Beasley finds Sexton. A little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the second quarter. And all quarter long, it's been the same story. Inconsistent with this offense. Pass to Akuro. To the middle. Here's Mobley. And denied. He sends it right off the glass. Outside Sexton. Here's Vanderbilt. Right side, Sexton. The three. They get the rebound. The fadeaway. First shot won't go. Not sure if that's the shot you were looking for, but it's a fairly clean look. Almost have to take it. Pass to Akuro. Vanderbilt with the block. Here's Mitchell. The Cavaliers again cannot hit. High percentage look for him. But bottom line, they're not all going to go down. Closing in on four minutes played here in the second quarter. Looking to end this cold spell. Sexton misses. Something's off about him this quarter. And it also shows you how difficult this game is. He's just a little bit off, but it can result in missing everything. He's a producer. It's part of their plan to get him as many touches as possible. And the number 45 that Donovan Mitchell wears, it's a tribute to Michael Jordan. MJ Ward for most of his high school days while he played baseball and for a short while in the NBA. checked in for Allen. Osman comes in for Okoro. Levert's checked in for Donovan Mitchell. And Rubio is subbed in for Garland. Now here's Gabe. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Two minutes. Clarkson's got room. Yes. Great play by Connolly to set it up. And the Jazz lead by eight. And you talk about that 45 that Jordan wore playing baseball. Well, Mitchell also very connected to that sport. His father, who played professionally and works in the majors currently. Yeah, and baseball, B.A. was Donovan's sport growing up. But a broken wrist his sophomore year in high school after a collision at the plate steered his path toward hoops. Their strong work ethic has been evident on the glass. Really getting after it and being physical. They set a pick. Pass to Gay. Here's Horton Tucker, covered by Rubio. Just three to shoot. And the rebound goes to the Cavaliers. Levert with the ball. He's covered by Clarkson. Clarkson against Levert. Rubio drives in. 
Gay with the defensive effort. That was excellent contest, preventing him from making something that's usually automatic. Pass to Conley. Now here's Gay, covered by Rubio. And Gay the bucket on the assist by Conley. Conley's got three assists now in this one. Finding a man wide open, Mike Conley does an exceptional job of leading this team. Now here's LeVert. Love the screen on Clarkson. LeVert. Rebounded by Gay. Gay's got his fourth rebound in this one. Conley against Love. Now Conley. Over Love. Can't cash in the 10-footer. And we finished off one half of play. It's the Jazz leading by 10. And don't go away after the break. Just join it in. One half is in the books. One half to go. Been quite a game for Rudy Gay. And you can say his performance goes beyond the stat sheet. Well, there are guys who worry about their numbers. He is not one of those guys, believe me. Taking a look at the Jazz. We've got Boyan Bogdanovich. Colin Sexton out there with Mike Conley. Then there's Jared Vanderbilt. Sexton misses. The defense was begging him to take that shot, and he took the bait. But you can't blame him. Pass to Akuro. Allen with a screen on Sexton. I love great defense. Just quick to establish his feet, and he takes the hit. Well, the Jazz shooting just 37% in the game. Pass to Bogdanovich. He gets it in there. Bogdanovich has got his first basket. A more physical player at this stage of his career. Boyan is not bothered by the contact on that shot. Garland, the pass to Mitchell. Here's Okoro. Just five to shoot. Cleveland needs to get off a shot. Mitchell misses. On offense, here's Utah. They haven't given up any points here in the second half. Mitchell against Sexton. To the paint. Here's Vanderbilt. And the powerful one-handed slam. All he needed was a little separation. So effective. Boy, cleared the path, put him in position for a prime time dunk. That's a big time move and a big time finish. Here's Okoro. Vanderbilt with the block. And that'll be Cleveland's ball as it goes out of bounds. Cavs keep possession here. Here's Allen. And you have to think that they're leading this game because of how they've controlled the boards tonight. Outside Sexton. Looking to get it going. And a strong finish with two hands. It's been an outstanding performance for them in just about every area. Especially considering it's on the road in front of a tough crowd. They've been able to block out the distractions. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. At the line for your Cavaliers. Isaac Oboro. And he knocks down the first one. Beasley's checked in for Conley. And so he hits both. The Jazz have gotten three or four shots to fall so far in the third. 
Beasley against Garland. Outside Bogdanovich. Here he goes. He can't get it to go. Nice D from Allen. Pass to Akuro. Well, we're into the third quarter. Just over two and a half minutes played. And the foul is called. He missed it. So he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. Second team foul. At the line for Cleveland. Isaac Okoro. Two shots. And he can't get the first one. Good on the second one. Now here's Sexton. He's got six. And now we're three minutes into this third quarter of play. The 11-footer. And so the ball out of bounds. Mobley touched it last. When thinking about Colin Sexton, the first thing that comes to mind is his burst. I mean, his acceleration is just tremendous. He can go from 0 to 60 like a race car. The Cavaliers making a switch here. Love's checked in. Gay's checked in for Utah. Marketing comes in for Vanderbilt. Outside Garland. Pass to Akuro. Now Allen. Got a piece of it. A pretty good defender. Gay using that 7-3 wingspan. Well, get that shot out of here. And they'll get another chance. Outside Garland. Four on the clock. Love a screen on Sexton. Garland for three. Rebounded by Gay. You know, Grant with Sexton, it's not just that he has speed. He actually knows how to use that speed as a weapon. Yeah, he really does. I mean, defenders have to play out on him because of his three-point ability. So he'll wait to catch them flat-footed, then use his burst to blow by them, getting into the teeth of the defense and making plays. Man, good whistle there. And the Cavaliers will go for a different look here. Osman, he's checked in for Allen. Karis LeVert comes in for Okoro. Neto's checked in for Donovan Mitchell. And Rubio is subbed in for Garland. And a switch here also for Utah. Clarkson's checked in for Bogdanovich. LeVert with the ball. Picked up by Markkinen. Here's Osman. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Count it. Your goal is to create a high percentage look, get it to love in the painted area. From there, he'll usually make the right decision. Gives us a chance to catch up with Allie LaForce. Thanks, Brian. Last season, Draymond Green called out what he saw as a double standard. When players ask for trades, they're vilified. But teams can announce they're planning to trade a player and sit him on the bench in the meantime, and then it's taken in stride. Guys, he feels like it's disrespectful. Well, that's something to consider, Allie. Thanks. Good stuff. Trying to find a spark here. Yes, indeed. A rough stretch offensively. They could really use a basket. The shot by Rubio, no good. And they're plus five on the boards after that rebound. Okay, the pass to Clarkson. Now here's Sexton. Inside. Here's Gay. And it's good. Two points. Gay's got seven points. Whatever they did right in the first half defensively, we're not seeing it now. Love a screen on Clarkson. Here's Neto. Rubio against Sexton. Rubio drives in. No good. Clarkson with the defensive effort. The Jazz have gone five for nine from the floor in the third quarter. Here's Sexton. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. That's his first personal foul. Second team foul. Shooting for Utah, Colin Sexton. Two shots. That one's off. And he's good on the second. 
It's interesting. No free throw attempts for him in the first half. He's finally pushing the action and reaping the reward. Beasley against LeVert. Stay there, stay there, stay there. Love a screen on Beasley. And here at the end of the third, it's a double digit ball game. It's the Jazz. They lead by 18. And right after this, we'll bring you the start of the final. Fans, you are powerhouse dance team. Well, there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. Mobley and Allen together in the middle. Darius Garland is out there with Mitchell. And it's Okoro in at the small forward position. So that's who's on the floor for the Cavs. Garland, no good. And right now, they're plus eight in the rebounding category. That's helping them run away with this. Bogdanovich passes to Conley. They set the screen. Clock at six. And it's good from the elbow. And the Jazz lead by 20. <laughs> They're fortunate to be leading after shooting below 40% in the first half. Here's the Kuro. And he lays it up and in. And despite the size mismatch, getting a little aggressive down there in the paint. Proving once again that when you attack with confidence, good things tend to happen. Back to Clarkson. To the middle. Here's Markkinen. Deflected! Here's Okoro. Outside Mitchell. They set the pick. Got a hand on it. Garland against Clarkson. Final quarter here, and we're just over a minute and a half through it. The shot, no good. Bogdanovich against Mitchell. Here's Okoro. No good with a layup. What I like, he hasn't stopped competing despite the off night. Clarkson against Garland. Markkinen with a screen on Garland. Right side, Conley. It's rebounded by Cleveland. Allen's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Pass to Garland. Here's Okoro. He's guarded by Conley. That one doesn't drop. And Utah will come the other way. Bogdanovich finds Clarkson. If you're just joining us, fourth quarter here. We're just over two and a half minutes into it. And it's out of bounds. Still Utah's ball. His shot was hindered by that momentous mobile one block. Yeah, obviously he had the shot well anticipated. Able to shut it down with authority. For the Jazz. Vanderbilt's checked in for Markkinen. And it's Horton Tucker in for Clarkson. On defense, the Cavaliers. A great fourth quarter. Just giving up two points. Six to shoot. Unloads. The Jazz again can't hit. It's a shot you would think he would make, but he just doesn't make it all the time. Kept alive. Allen uses the glass to finish the layup. We've seen that more than once today. An effortless Utah, basket inside. The loudest and craziest fans get a free t-shirt. Let's see it, fans. All right, look who's coming onto the court. Come on and get loud for your powerhouse dance team. Third minute of action now gone here in the fourth. Here's Horton Tucker. Outside Conley. The Jazz with another miss. 
His struggles from the field continue, yet they still hold the lead. Here's Mobley. And the basket's good. Off the assist from Garland. You have to be accurate there. Very little room for error passing on the interior. Utah shooting only 38% from the floor. Not great. Here's Horton Tucker. Checked by Mitchell. Vanderbilt with a screen. It's Horton Tucker with a drive. Pass to Vanderbilt. Shot clock at five. From deep. Outside Bogdanovich. Connolly with the ball. Here's Horton Tucker. And he can't stop the drought. Another miss. The Cavaliers have gotten three of eight shot attempts to find the net here in the fourth quarter. The 15-footer. Off the left rim and out. Utah has gone 0 for 3 here in the fourth. Pass to Vanderbilt. Outside Conley. And he converts the layup. It looks like it'll be a big win for them here. Time to just cruise to the end of the game and chalk up the victory for the Jazz. They had excellent production from the bench. <laughs> this team has strong depth, and in this game, it showed. Outside Mitchell. Driving inside. Here's Allen. Horton Tucker grabs the miss. You love to see guys challenge one another like that. Advantage to the defense that time. 58 seconds left in the final quarter. Off the mark from 16 feet. He looked just a little out of rhythm. He's still trying to establish consistency from there. Mitchell, good. The efficiency Mitchell has from range is tremendous. He can just bury you with threes. Garland against Conley. Pass to Horton Tucker. Over Mitchell. Horton Tucker can't hit. Outside Mitchell. Now Allen. And here's Garland. Yep, count it. Soft interior D, and they've exploited it. Here's Horton Tucker. Checked by Mitchell. So we see the Jazz taking the W here. The end of the Exceptional game. effort on the road. They were ready they and they were focused. Focused, focused indeed. I mean, it takes a strong they mental they approach to block out the distractions. These guys stepped up 100%. For Allie LaForce, Grant Hill, and Steve Smith, this is Brian Anderson with our 2K Sports crew signing off. Now let's take a look at the New Balance Player of the Game.